Well, today I have a bevy of news stories here for you guys on Tears of the Kingdom, including brand new screenshots of Tears of the Kingdom provided by Nintendo, updates on pre-orders, more marketing goodness, and more. So what are we doing? Let's get into this video after I remind you that we are giving away a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED edition, a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom, along with a pin from PAX East. You can enter down in the pin comment or in the description. You have about a week left to enter because we are drawing the winners on May 12th. That being said, let's get right into the news. Our first story deals with an update on pre-order items. So a lot of various outlets have had a ton of different pre-order items, and that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, I don't know where you guys have pre-ordered the game if you're getting it physically and trying to collect some sort of pre-order item. Walmart has them, GameStop, etc. Well, Target has now updated what their pre-order item is going to be, and it's actually going to be an adventure hip pack, which... It's basically like a fanny pack, but meant to sit on your hip, sort of like what Link does with some of his satchels. It looks pretty damn cool. We have some close-ups here, thanks to the Tears of the Kingdom Reddit. It must be an employee at Target. It's pretty neat. I do think that this is maybe one of the better items out of all of the pre-order items to get. And remember, it's only while supplies last, right? So it's only a limited number of these we'll be able to hand out. Now... Our next story is actually pretty neat. Yesterday we talked about how Best Buy, some Best Buys maybe had some really cool marketing for Tears of the Kingdom on the outside of their building. Well, we have more marketing pop up in other countries. In Madrid, Spain, there's this giant mural outdoors. It looks really cool. Uh, it has the game box there. It's got the giant uh, official art. It's letting you know when it comes out on May 12th. It's just a really, really cool piece of art, and I mean, maybe I'd rather have this than what the Best Buy did, but that's not the only type of marketing we're also seeing in Melbourne, Australia. Their public transit uh, has Tears of the Kingdom plastered all over it as well, and you can see, and you know, way down on the left of the image, you see the official art in the middle. Uh, you've got, obviously, Link, uh, you know, his amiibo pose, and then we have the trailer, and as you can see, you know, I'm sorry, the trail, the logo, uh, and then as you can see, the patterns all around uh, are those circles and all that. So, again, looks really, really cool. Nintendo is going all out with the marketing right now, plastering this game everywhere. So, I think that's pretty cool. Now, our next story deals with Nintendo New York and Tears of the Kingdom because they have opened up their signups for a midnight launch of Tears of the Kingdom. They are going to have exclusive merchandise only for people at that midnight launch, but spots are limited. Obviously, we wish we had they had these stores pretty much all over the world. It would be pretty cool. But, I, I you know, in the back of my mind, I kind of wish Nintendo would just partner with like a Best Buy or some sort of national or worldwide chain and just do a similar midnight launch in more areas, but what are you going to do? This is the Nintendo New York special. We'll have a link to the sign up if you happen to live in that area and want to go to their midnight launch below. Now, another story here we have for you guys. Got a couple more to go. Is Nintendo released a story recap video for anyone who needs a reminder of what happened in Breath of the Wild leading into Tears of the Kingdom? And it's a pretty good story recap and they actually provide a smidge of a tease for tears of the kingdom uh, when they sent this out to press anyways this isn't actually included on the video in the press release of this video it says here's what you can expect in tears of the kingdom an epic adventure across the land and skies of hyrule awaits in the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom for nintendo switch the adventure is yours to create in a world fueled by your imagination in this sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you'll decide your own path through the sprawling landscapes of Hyrule and the mysterious islands floating in the vast skies above. Can you harness the power of Link's new abilities to fight back against the malevolent forces that threaten the kingdom? So, pretty interesting there. And it I watched the entire six-minute video as well of the, of the Breath of the Wild recap story. Look, if you play Breath of the Wild 100% in it, you'll know that, oh, there's all these little intricate details missing. It's just meant to be a general summary to catch people up who maybe didn't play Tears, uh, maybe didn't play Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe didn't play Breath of the Wild leading into Tears of the Kingdom. So, that's pretty cool. I think it does its job as intended for the audience it is aimed for. 
And now we get to get into the most exciting part of the video, brand new content revealed by Nintendo themselves. This is what I'm talking about, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what excites me. So, number one, we have this, this gotcha ball machine screenshot. Now we've actually seen this in action already, and it does appear that you give this Zonai charges, and it will release a bunch of these balls that contain various elements that you can store in your storage to use with Ultra Hand. So that's really cool. It gives you building materials, gives you a reason to want to fight enemies and collect the Zonai charges. I find that to be really cool. I don't know if all of these are located up in the sky or not, uh, but I do think that that is really, really neat. And beyond that, we need to talk about another new screenshot. This, guys, I'm going to warn you right now, is something completely brand new. But as it was unfailed by the official Zelda uh, thing, we could talk about at least some of it. Uh, and here you go. Here's that brand new screenshot. What is going on? There's that hand thing. We got some Zonai sort of stuff coming out uh, from the two dragons there. There's some text in the background, some sort of rune area. Looks like maybe quicksand behind it. What the hell is happening? Well, the official tweet says the following. Once again, I found something strange on a sky island. A mysterious pattern emerges. But what exactly is this? Now, Thanks to the game leaking out there, we obviously know what this is, but I said I wasn't going to talk about those spoilers, so we're not going to give any other extra clues over what this particular thing is. Um, somebody, though, has gone through and uh, in Japan and zoomed in on the little area, the, the little map, and they said there's an island that looks like an axe. There's a gotcha mark, and there's something about the green mark. So it's really interesting because, hey, this is official media released. I don't know what any of this means, but it's really cool to see that if you zoom in on that mini map, you get some additional details and an island shaped like an axe. Quite interesting. All right, guys. So that's it for today on our little news update here. A bunch of stories gathered for Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you really had a good time. You guys are awesome and amazing. Remember, we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate if you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. You guys are awesome, and we'll catch you in the next video.